Let's go find something cool, Rolly. Look at that. That's like a ladder statue. Ladder art. On the right. What is that? It's a rambler. Yeah, that one I think we've seen. That's kind of cool. It has to be like 50s, right? Like mid 50s. Yeah, yeah mid 50s. Well, let's go check it out. Hey, it has plate on it. Maybe the truck drives. You never know. You never know. It's in pretty good shape, though, I think. How hey, you doing? How's it going? How's How it you going? doing, man? I'm Kevin. This is Rolly. Hi, Rolly. We were just nice looking at you. that truck. Oh, you see it's for sale. It is. This is my grandfather's pickup. It's a 56 F100. He had a mining company and a construction company. And uh, when he died, it went to my grandmother, and then she gave it to my dad. He drove it all the way from Colorado to here. Wow. But he's looking to sell it. His asking price is 40. Did you say 40? 40,000? Mm -hmm. Wow. Rolly and I are looking at this awesome 1956 Ford truck. It's got a steep price tag, but it might be worth it if it's in great shape. Yeah, that Ford tractor engine is stronger than the monster. Yeah? Ford tractor. Nice. The 1956 Ford F-100 trucks are truly one of a kind. That year, the body style got some great upgrades, including a new grill and a wraparound windshield. The interior also saw some great safety upgrades, like seat belts and the new lifeguard steering wheel designed to put more space between the driver and the dash. But this body style was only produced for one year, making these trucks extremely hard to find. I don't know if I can open this thing. Let's see if I can get it out. Why don't you try it right there? This thing's real heavy. There, there you go. go. There it is. Look at that tractor motor. Straight six tractor engine. Originally, it's a V8. It was. It says it on there. Yeah. V8. My grandfather blew it up in, a, in his construction business, driving up to his mining claims up in the mountains. But then this one gave him power. Well, yeah. this thing climbs like a mountain goat. Yeah. This one out climbs the V8. It's just not as fast. But here's the important thing. You might want to come check it on this side over here. Um, we're not quite sure of the stories, but that's something that, that was... looks like that's a, that's a bullet. <laughs> yeah. It looks like someone was aiming, aiming the driver. Somebody was shooting the grandpa. Yeah. He had a lot of enemies, and he took yeah. care of a lot of people. But um, this is strong. Dad's looking to sell it. It's solid. It, it, it is solid, and it doesn't have any rust that I can tell. I wouldn't lower it. I wouldn't do anything putting crazy on it. I would just paint it and uh Or and just make put it clear coat Actually, it. you could just clear coat it. Yeah, I love this look myself. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm going to just take a quick pick. What was your name? My name's Lauren. Yeah. Thanks again, yeah. Lauren. Thank we appreciate you your time, brother. Thank you very nice much, Nice to guys. meet take you. Care. Man, this truck has a really cool history, and I know it's very special to the family, and I think that's why Lauren's dad has it priced so high. But at $40,000, I don't know how the shop can make a profit. Danny would want to keep this one. I think Rolly and I will just keep this one on the down low. It's the first time I see a bullet hole on a vehicle. I kind of <laughs> like it, actually.